barbecue. It actually could be good with barbecue, I think, too. Oh. Uh -huh. So um, we have a lot of um, questions that are coming in, and I'm going to let, by the way, everybody, thank you so much. I'm, I know you all want to ask questions, and we're going to try to go through uh, some of them. I don't imagine we're going to get to all of them, but I know Scotty would, uh, anyway, he's, oh, he's well, great, I'm and he'll call, he'll talk. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, here's one, and this is Scotty. Who do you want to do a duet with? Oh wow! Yeah, I mean, there's a lot, of, a lot of great artists out there. I mean, female-wise, it's uh, uh, go to the classics like Adali or Loretta would be amazing. But I mean, uh, there's a lot of great up-and-coming voices that are out there. I mean, obviously, Lauren Alana is kind of who I got my start with, and. One day I think we'll do something. One day we'll, we'll, we'll do something together. We said we would back in the day. Um, but then, I mean, folks like Daniel Brad, Eric, huge fan of hers. Um, uh, there's, there's just a lot of Kevin Ballerine. I know he's a hall wine drinker as well. So uh, I had a big comment. Last time I saw her, I, I'd seen her on y'all's page, and I said, you like hall wines too? I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, comment. she's great. Yeah, I love her. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, there's I could sit here and artists for days because I'm, I'm a huge fan of so many so when you think about an artist that you would do it with you are there qualities in a voice or is it a personality or what makes a good duet partner i think it's a little bit of both i mean there's got to be a blend. blend is there vocally uh the blend's got to be there personality wise as well so otherwise it's not believable you know so yeah i, I think it's a little bit of both and uh in country music i think we're all we, we've kind of a lot of the same story, uh, different things. Our personalities tend to blend a good amount, but yeah, it's a little bit of both. Yeah, yeah, and also country is so much from the heart, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, that's kind of what I was getting towards. I think it's just the stories that we all tell. I, I've always thought country music is real people telling real life stories. I think that's what part of country music is for all of us. So, um, yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's take another. Oh my goodness, are you? Can you see on your screen, Scotty? I mean, like this. Yeah. I'm sorry for just going crazy up there. You guys, everybody is so wonderful. Okay, let's see. Here's one. Um, would you ever tour with Luke Bryan? Would love to. I love Luke. I think he's one of the nicest guys in Nashville. So, um, I just got the chance to do. He has a big party every year in Cancun, and uh, it's Ooh. called. And I just got to do that with him and a bunch of artists. So we were down there in January at the beginning of 2020. Thank you. Um, but it was fun. His mom was our, our next door neighbor at the hotel. And she was a, she was, we had a, we probably stayed up until 2 a.m. one night just talking with her and having a good time. So yeah, that'd be a fun tour. Totally. Doesn't that seem like a lifetime ago? To think about January when we were going to parties and all that stuff. I just yeah, I think we passed a decade. This is yeah. like the longest year ever. So yeah, it, uh getting to just do whatever he said parties, get that seems like a lifetime ago. It really, really does, and I think once we can get out, we're all going to be so, so grateful. You know, yeah, I just that's gonna be my biggest thing is just not taking the little and once we get back out there because there's there's so many little things i would love to be able to do right now. Yeah, so yeah. yeah so true okay let's see let's let's take another one here um uh oh okay someone wants to know what you majored in at north carolina state actually i know that but i won't but i know you know that. okay yeah i was majoring in media media communication I feel like for me, uh, at that point in my life, I'd already kind of been, I dove head first into the music business. I, I was uh, getting a great education from my producers and my band. And music wise, I'd kind of figured that out mostly. Uh, but I felt like the media was the other big component of, you know, being an artist. So uh, went to major for that and had a, had a great time there at State. Yeah. Yeah. This, those, those were the. They always said, everybody would always tell you, enjoy your college days because they're going to fly by. And we're like, yeah. get out of here. We got, we got four years. What are you talking about? Yeah. But you know, it's, it's all, you're all done. 
It does, but I can, I mean, I can tell you, you remember it and it's a part of your life all your life. I mean, for me, some of my closest friends are my friends that I went to college with, you know? It's just, it's a very important time in your life, too. Yeah, and it's always fun getting together with those people or just talking and texting, reminiscing. Yeah. yeah. You remember yeah. Yeah, that kind of stuff. I love that stuff. Yeah, me too. Okay, now I'll tell you what, the most repeated question that we keep on getting and getting and getting is people asking for an encore. Oh, yeah, we can do that. I'm wondering if that might be a, would you consider? Yes, absolutely. I don't have my little cable here, so it's going to be a little lower, but this is, uh, this is my third number one single on a song we were just talking about that goes, that pairs very nicely with uh, this nice. <laughs> oh, nice choice. Absolutely. Yeah. So here we go, y'all. It's called In Between. Find its right time to go out in the world and where it's going to find a home. And so, uh, 
yeah, it's pretty crazy five years later to have that song uh, out there and, and for it to go all the way was pretty, pretty awesome. Really awesome, but also so right for now. Such an important message. I just think in a time when we, everybody is labeling everybody else and... Yeah, labeling you know, things one extreme or the other. Like, I, like a lot of us are just kind of doing our thing and our arcade a bit of both, you know, a little bit of compromise. So I think it's... Uh, in between, it's a good good way to be. Yeah. Here's to that. You know. Cheers, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Totally that. And can I just say, I love, love, love that line of a little holy water and Jim Beam. I mean, it's just I can't hear it. I love it. <laughs> no. Oh, I think not, I not laugh. So anyway, oh my goodness, this is just so fun, and I oh we are just we're getting okay. I'm gonna. We're going to take um, maybe two. Are you okay? We're going to do maybe two more songs. We're running, a, I mean, not songs, um, two more s questions. We've got so many people um, coming in. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, this is sweet. Someone, Kenna wrote uh, that she's been a fan since audition day, and she was supposed to see you in Ohio for her birthday, but then COVID came. Oh. So, oh, yeah, for sure. We could, uh, yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. So, let's okay. Um, what was the how was the crowd at the Rockingham County Fair last summer? <laughs> they were great, they were great, <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. They were they were raucous, so it's love playing for them. Hopefully, we can get back there one day. Yeah, where is that? Uh, do you Rockingham. Know, there's been a few. Um, there's Rockingham County, North Carolina. I mean, they're all over. Oh, cool. <laughs> Great. Okay, and then we also had a question. Someone wants to know how Moose is doing. Oh, he's great. He's great. And you got to tell folks who Moose is, right? He's, our, right, that? he's, uh, he's a yellow lab. Matter of fact, here's a... Uh, let me show you a little picture of him as a puppy. This was the first week we got him. Let's see if I can flip this. There's old Moose right there. Aww, <laughs> aww. He was a little stinker for sure, but no, he's doing good. We uh, we're gonna take him to the beach here, I think, in a couple days, and he loves to swim. Uh, he is a water. I've never seen a dog. He'll swim for an hour and a half straight without getting out of the water. And he'll just huh. move forward and he'll just swim back and forth in the pool. So. Uh, yeah, he's going to be very happy this weekend at the beach. Cool. Yeah. Wait, and so you name it Moose? Does a moose go in water? Or just... <laughs> I'm sure they climb through it, but uh, yeah, this this was Gabi's dog. She always had a yellow lab, wanted a yellow lab. She thought of the name Moose. Um, eventually, once Moose grows up and calms down a little bit, we'll get my dog, and that'll be a, like a bulldog kind of thing, and going to name him Brady. So, yeah. So. Boy, you are planned out. Yeah, I, I've had Brady, favorite quarterback Brady. I've had that planned out for a little while. So. Oh, cool! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. we he's shall. He's awesome. Hey, yeah, he's the man. He's... So, well, you are the man. Tell oh. you what, you are just so wonderful to come on. I just can't say thank you enough for all of us at Hall, but I mean, all of the fans who've been watching you. You gave them such a treat scotty it's just been so special oh, and thank you for having just, me. always a joy and a pleasure to say hey and, and get to see you hopefully once all this craziness in the world's behind us we can see each other in, in real life not just the screen so and again just incredible wine y'all so lucky to be able to be tasting this with you well thank you so much and i so appreciate it cheers Stay healthy. Good luck, and uh, can't wait for the new song. Wait, oh, when is when will the new songs or the new album come out? I mean, you're working on it now, but what's the plan here? New single is looking like uh, I would say early fallish would be my uh, expectation. So, um, pretty early fall. So, at least at okay. most, it's changed twice in this this one week. So, hopefully, it's uh, hopefully it comes out sooner rather than later. So the deal is you do a single and then uh, so and the album just sort of comes later or how does that when you, you yeah. add more songs to it? Or? 
and you, you'd like the single to hopefully, you know, Lord willing, work its way up the charts a little bit to where a lot of people are hearing it. And then you kind of release the album. They call it Mad or something like that. When there's so many ears on the single, you release the album. And, and then uh, we go hit the road and tour off that album and play all the songs. So um, I love albums. I love making the record. I love, you know, there's little baby steps the whole way through, but it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, that hit the road part is something that we especially are looking forward to. I cannot wait. That's that's. Yeah. I've been missing it this year, but hopefully we can make it out. Find country, yeah. play some country music for you. Looking forward to that for sure. <laughs> Thank you so much, Scotty. Wish you well. Um, looking forward to seeing you, and I'll be hearing you, of course, daily. But to seeing you soon. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Cheers. Okay, well, I know you all enjoyed it as much as I do because I could see all the comments as they were coming in. Is Scotty McCreary not the best, best? And don't we know that his new single is going to be fabulous? So thank you so much for joining us. My name is Catherine Hall. Again, uh, we had two wines. They were the 2018 Knights Valley Sauvignon Blanc, which is part of our Endless Summer set. You can check out the sets for all of our wines on Hall Wines or Baca Wines or Walt Wines. And uh, join me again on Friday. We are releasing our flagship wine.